So for those who are actually not familiar with this project, the idea was to make a drivable vehicle that can actually support a person. So the frame, everything is 100% Lego. The whole go-kart weighs around 15 kilograms and it can support up to 70 kilograms. And I just want to go quickly over the updates that I did to our quite old go-kart now. It's almost five years old. And while building a skateboard, I gained a few ideas and experiences and here are the updates that I did. First, the powertrain. I replaced the 32 powered uh, power functions L motors and Boobies 2.0 controllers with 20 Boobies motors and 10 Boobies 3.0 controllers. There are three controllers per rear wheel because each rear wheel has six motors. So six motors for each rear wheel, that means 12 motors for rear wheel drive. And in the front, we are using two Boobies 3.0 controllers that are driving the four wheels per front wheel. So eight motors driving the front wheels, 12 motors driving the rear wheels. So in total, 20 motors powered and controlled by 10 Boobies, Boobies 3.0 controllers. Now advantage is that because we are using Boobies motors, we can use a lower amount of Boobies motors to gain the same or in this case higher power. And of course the Boobies 3.0 controllers also have a higher power uh, output, voltage and capacity compared to the Boobies 2.0 controllers. That is why we are also using Boobies 3.0 controllers. Uh, the next update was the wheels. I managed to make the wheels removable. It only takes four assemblies here to remove. You can easily take off the wheels and you can easily use this technique to do the maintenance. So sometimes you get things inside here you need to clean out or if you need to lubricate or things like that. We use an RGB uh, strip here and the strip is laid so it goes all on the, on the bottom side of the go-kart and you can easily control the colors of the LED strip with our uh, with the app uh, and I'm using a single Boobies 2.0 controller to uh, control the RGB strip. And you can see here, all wheel drive. Now, another very important thing is that when you steer, you want to reduce the power on the inner wheels so you can drive the, around the band. So we are using an electronic differential here and the same here when you turn on the other direction these wheels are spinning and these wheels have a reduced power. This is, where, this is how the go-kart can go, uh, basically can do turns without uh, overloading the inner motors. And this is all controlled by the phone and we are just using this simple, uh, uh, basically, uh, accelerometer uh, input gauge and it detects when you tilt the phone and uh, adjusts the power accordingly. So we would like to thank Voop for letting us record this and if you also like the way the go-kart was upgraded and want to see more projects like this in the future then please remember to like, hit the notification bell and subscribe. Thank you for watching.